Hey, thanks for watching. If you want ice cold AC, watch this video and read the full description. The first thing you want to do is hook up the low side to the low side line. You stick the red side, which is the high side, and lock it down. The next thing you need to do is put the AC on and put the fan on high. This particular car takes one and a half pounds, so I'm going to put one complete can and then another half a can. And keep on watching the gauges so this goes to about 150 and it should be full then. Then I'll connect the low side on and that should probably be between 30, 25 to 35 and that should be good. The AC is on. I got a thermometer in the vents. It's at almost above, just above 110 right now. And it's still sucking on free on. Oh, now I'm going in with the second can. You want to know how this works? You put the valve in, you turn it, then you release it, and then it allows the can to go right through. Right now I'm shaking it. It says only to hold it upright, but I like to give it upside down shake sometimes too. It allows you to suck it in faster, and at times I rev up the engine. All right, I think I'm full right now because the pressure, the high pressure, is at 200. Now I'm gonna hook up the gauge and see what this is. It's really hot right now, good idea is to cool off the condenser with water. As you see me doing right now, this way the pressure lowers and it sucks with the actual reading. But it's so hot outside. So you need to pour water on the condenser to keep an eye on the I got this old piece of jalopy over here with the AC kicking beautifully. The low side is five times less than the high side. That's how it's gotta be. 150 divided by five is almost 30. This AC is charged. Perfectly, one and a half pounds in, and it's kicking. When I'm at the gauge before, look where it is right now. It's just under 60 at idle. More quick tips on AC, coming soon, so subscribe and get them all. Thanks for watching.